I'm Henry Gilliland, the Mechatronics Specialist with Electric Supply and Equipment. In this video, I'm going to explain the purpose of the MSF instruction and show you how to properly implement it using ladder logic in Rockwell's Studio 5000 Logix Designer. But before we get going, please be sure to subscribe to ESNE TV to view more videos like this one. The MSF, or Motion Servo Off instruction, is the integrated motion instruction that is used to disengage the position control loop for a servo. By executing this instruction, the axis will transition from a running state to a stopped state, and will no longer apply any current to the motor. Let's take a look at the different components of the instruction. First, you have the axis field. This is where you will assign the axis that the instruction will target. Next, we have the motion control field. This is where a tag of type motion instruction will go. This is the tag that will be used by the processor to perform the functionality of the whole instruction. Then there are three status indicator bits. None of these bits will tell you anything about the current state of the target axis. They are only diagnostics associated with the given instruction. The enable bit will be true when the rung that the instruction is on goes true. The DN or done bit will be true when the motion instruction executes successfully with no errors. The state of the done bit will only update when the enable bit transitions from false to true. The ER or error bit will be true when the motion instruction executes with errors. The state of the ER bit will also only update when the enable bit transitions from false to true. Now let's build the instruction in ladder logic. You can find the MSF instruction under the motion state tab of the ladder logic instruction selector. Assign the target axis. Create an instruction tag. It's a good idea to name the instruction tag after the instruction itself. That way, when troubleshooting in the future, it'll be easier to find the tag. Now right click on the label and select new in order to create the tag in the tag database. As mentioned earlier, the tag will be of type motion instruction. Select create and now compile the code. In order to execute the instruction, the rung the instruction is on will need to transition from false to true. To do this here, we'll toggle the bit on the rung. As you can see, when the rung is true, the enable bit is true. The instruction executed successfully, so you can see that the done bit is also true. You can also see that the axis changed state from running to stopped. When the rung transitions from true to false, you will notice two things. First, you'll see that the enable bit transitions to false. Second, you'll see that the axis state does not change. It remains in the stop state. This is because all motion instructions are one shot. This means that the only time they execute or perform any action is when the enable bit transitions from false to true. In order to enable the axis, you'll need a separate instruction. You'll need an instruction called an MSO. The previous video in this series explained the usage of that instruction. If the instruction is executed and the error bit goes true, then you can look at the .err and the .exerr tags to see what specific error you're getting. You can then search for the error in the help file to determine what caused the instruction to execute with an error. Now you know the basics of how to properly use the motion servo off instruction. If you liked this video, please click the like button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when we post new videos. Thanks for watching.